Is this realistic? Probably not. Really, I thought I selected less than last month. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Valerie. And today, since it's the beginning of May, we're today April 30th. Well, I'm filming this on April 30th. Let's plan my May TBR. So what I have to keep in mind for this month, there are some bookish challenges that I do every month. There are also new releases that are coming soon and books that I'm still waiting on from new releases that happen in April. And lastly, there's something new. That I want to do this month. And to give you context for that special thing that I'm doing this month, I'm on a book buying restriction challenge, which is kind of a book buying ban, but I tweaked the concept a bit and I decided that every time I read five books from my actual physical TBR, I can buy a new book. So I still can buy books, but I have to read five books that I already own every time to have the right to buy a new book. Special editions, new releases, and following books of a series don't count, so I can buy them without restrictions. So yeah, I started this last November, and the thing is, it's been really hard, and right now there were so many new releases that I wanted to read that I haven't read as much of the books I already own, so now it's kind of... The new books I wanted to buy for myself keep piling up. So it's been six months, I've been good, so I decided that this month I have bought some new books. These are all new books. So I decided that I could buy between five and seven books. The ones of like in the same series don't count, like they count for one. I decided that I could buy these new books that I've been highly, highly wanting to read. Like the urge was too much. So I decided that I could buy these and I have to read them this month. If not, they are going to go on my cheat pile and I cannot read them until I read another five books from the books I already own. So these are the ones that I selected and if I'm able to read all of these, there's another one that I want to add to the pile. Only if I'm able to read all of these are like the first from every series. It's the first book of the Boys of Tom and series by Chloe Walsh. It's Biting 13. Like, the thing is with Biting 13 is that I've been hearing about it for many, many months. I've seen Larry Reads, who I adore, talking about these books for a while. And suddenly, I think in December or January, maybe, more and more people started to talk about them on Book Talk, on Booktube. And then I was like, oh, feeling so much FOMO. And I regretted not buying them earlier because Larry Reed already like, convinced me to read them. And now I feel I'm behind. I'm feeling a lot of FOMO, but they are really big books. I do like big books, but at the same time, I have so many I want to read right now that it's kind of scaring me a bit. But if I'm able to read all of these, I will give myself the right to buy this, but I will have like to read it instantly. But anyway, and I'm going to buy the special discrete editions because I don't want the original editions. I don't like the people on the cover. I do like the colors of the original covers but I don't like the people on them. So yeah. So let's talk a bit more about these, just to show them to you and why I decided that these were urgent purchase. So so first we have The Naked Fisherman and The Lost Fisherman by Joel E. Ann. I'm not sure that's how you say her name. That's how I read it, but I've heard other people saying it another way. I've heard about this from Maddie and usually she reads a lot of dark romances but she's been saying that this was amazing, uh, that her friends were crying while reading this and that it was super angsty and I do love angsty romances so I don't know the fact that she says it was very high angst that's the only thing that convinced me actually and I've been I've been curious about this author for a while so I thought why not start with these and I do like the colors. I'm not sure about the covers, though. Not sure how I feel about them, but the colors are nice. So I want to read these. Next, a book from Tal Bauer. I've been wanting to read his books for a while. I heard so many great things. I selected Gravity because, well, I've seen it pass by a lot on Book Talk. People were crying while reading this. Uh, one of the characters is from Quebec, I think. It always gets me when the characters are from where I'm from, so... I was very curious if it's gonna make me sad and grimy by the emotions. That's always a win for me. I don't know. There's so many books I want to read from this author. I'm starting with this one. It's a, as you can see with the cover, it's a hockey romance. I don't know anything else other than it's a hockey romance. One of the characters is from Quebec and people were crying. 
and that's a win for me. Next, I've seen so many people talk about the series by Juliet Cross. The first book is Wolf Gone Wild, and I'm not sure anymore what it's about. It's paranormal. I think she's a witch and he's a shifter, a werewolf. And I think it has some spice. I'm not even sure anymore. I don't know if it's more cozy and funny. I think it's more light. I think it's a lighter romance, but I don't know. Don't take my word for it. I don't remember anything, but I know I've heard many, many things and just people convince me. I have Janessa in mind. She's the one that just did the scale for me and made me buy this. So I'm excited to read this and tell you more about it. And I don't know. I just love the colors of this cover so much. And I love that all the titles from the series have kind of a, it's kind of a play on words. I don't know. I like it. Next, we have The Dare by Arlie LaRue. I've read another book from her. I really liked it. This one is a novella. It's pretty short. I bought this because I want to read the following books after that, but I heard that we have to read the novella before the other two books, which are called Losers, part one and part two. So I want to read that. I have to start with this. If I like it, I'm going to buy the other two and complete the series. It's super spicy. Like, it's a very spicy novella with some, I think, forbidden things or... I don't know. I would say check the trigger warnings. I don't know. But like very spicy and kinky. There are other things in the series after that that convinced me to read it. I don't remember. Maybe I heard there was some pet play. I don't remember. Anyway, I want to read this. Next, I think there are four books now out. Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. I've been hesitating to read this for so, so long. I don't know how many months. People have been raving about this. They say it's kind of a gossip girl feeling and that leaves me kind of unsure it's not the thing that is convincing me i don't know what is convincing me because people say well people say that it's an unhealthy relationship there's cheating like it's not going well i don't know um but at the same time they are so touched by this so i'm kind of curious like i want to challenge myself um i don't know what is happening with these covers though it looks like a fairy tale fantasy thing and it's not it's kind of just a contemporary romance. I think there's spice. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, I decided to jump and take a risk and try it. And then we have these three. Okay, I bought all of them because there was a really great sale, so I couldn't pass by. I don't even know if I'm going to like this author, but since they were on sale and the covers are so pretty, I couldn't resist. These are the kind of illustrated special covers. I think the original covers are not like this. It's a series by Saxon James. It's called Divorced Men's Club. I think they are all about men who are divorced and find love again. This one I think is an age gap, forced proximity because he finds a new roommate, if I remember correctly. But the cover, listen. It's so pretty, the colors, I can't. And you even have like a cute under the dust jacket. Like the covers convinced me, frankly, but I heard really great things on a MM Romance reader page on Facebook. These are the other two that I could or not get to them this month, but I still bought them, like I said, because they were on sale. We have Platonic Rulebook and Budding Attraction. Next for my monthly bookish challenges, first there was the Broadening My Reading Horizons challenge, which was either to read books I wouldn't normally read or read from authors that are from Quebec here because I'm slowly getting back to reading books in French. It's my first language, but it's been years since I've read in French. So for this month, I selected for my French book Branché sur toi, Our Boy's Love by Jeanne Devaux and Sophie Vaillancourt. It's an MM romance. I think one of them is a musician. Music is involved. I don't know anything else, but I'm super excited to read it. The cover is so pretty and you cannot like see it but it's so soft and look at how fluffy it is like I already put my bookmark in it like I'm ready to start it's gonna be my first read of the month I also added something else in case I was in the mood for it but at the same time I'm sure I'm gonna start with this but we still have The Housemaid by Frida McFadden this is a thriller normally I only read romances but my friend lent this one to me so I thought, why not? And I've seen other romance reader that I'm following really loving this one. So I feel that it could be my thing. It's going to happen soon, probably. So if it's not this month, it's going to be next month, I think. And for my 12 Friends Book Recs in 12 Month Challenge, I decided to pick the book that my friend Kelsey recommended to me, The Words by Ashley Jade. I think everyone saw this 
like at one point it's been out for a while people kept raving about this book every time i saw it on social media like people were loving dying for it so i'm excited to read this and the thing is the hype got to me because it's a second chance romance i think and i think it has a vengeance trope and both of these aren't my favorite but i'm still gonna try it the other thing i know about it is that it's a musician rock star romance that's all i know i'll let you know besties i forgot one challenge so i have also the challenge to read every month one book from the unfinished series i have on my shelf so for that challenge i selected these they are all from my April TBR. So we either have Rival by Penelope Douglas from the following series, Sinners Consume and Sinners Condemn. They go together, they are a duet from the Sinners Anonymous series by Sam Sketcher or Make My Move by Jay Bree. So I think one of these could make it. Okay, and for the books I don't have with me, there's Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I've seen so many people talking about this. It's coming out May 2nd, I think, at the beginning of May. I've seen people talk about it that read it early and they just convinced me. I think there's dragons. Is there a school for dragons? I don't know. I just hope there's some kind of romance because I assumed that there was, but now I'm not so sure. I pre-ordered the special edition with the kind of sprayed edges, stencil edges with dragons. It's gonna arrive at the beginning of May, so I will read it. Then we have The Endless War by Danielle L. Jensen. This is the fourth book in the Bridge Kingdom series. It's gonna be released on audio on Audible first. And I've been really excited to see where this goes, so I'm going to listen to it as soon as it's out. And then we have Reckless by Elsie Silver. This is coming out June 9th, but I'm very, very lucky. I'm in our ARC team, so I'm going to be able to read this early. And you can be sure that I'm going to jump on it as soon as I receive it. Because if you don't know, this is one of my favorite authors of all time. Excited is not an enough intense word to tell you how I'm eager to read this. And then we have a couple of books by Carissa Broadbent. I'm slowly going to get all of her new releases because the hardcovers were hard to get to. And I think I'm going to have them all in May. So I finally received her novella Six Court Roses. I'm going to start with this one. And then I want to read The Ashers of the Starker's King. And after that, I want to read Slaying the Vampire Conqueror. I don't know if I'm able to get to all of them. I thought I was reasonable at the beginning of this, but no, I'm not so sure. <laughs> okay, and I think that is it. I think I covered everything. And as a bonus, because why not, I will tell you about certain releases that I'm highly expecting, but they come out at the end of the month, so I'm only going to be able to read them in June, but let's talk about them anyway. There's String Me Along by Lynn Leontie James. This is her second book of standalones. I don't know the name of the series, but after Meet Me Halfway. So this is about the friend of the FMC of her first book. So if the release date hasn't changed, I think it's going to come out May 30th. There's also The Crowns of Oats and Curses by Jibri that was supposed to come out in April. It's coming out May 27th. So I will read this one and The Sword, which is a prequel novella at the beginning of June. Not right now. I want to read them together when the book is going to come out. And I think that's it. I don't think I forgot anything. Let me know what are the books that you're highly expecting to read. Have you read any of the ones that I'm going to read this month? If you like this, please like and subscribe if you want to. If you want to see more of me, you can go see my book talk and my bookstagram account. And as always, take care. Thanks for being here. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Well, the date on April 3rd. I'm filming, well, I'm filming some books from there are some new. There's also another one that I. Yeah, there's also one. And it's. Every. Like the thing is with Biden turn. The Naked Fire. This is a. Jewel. Jewel? Jewel E. M. So. I want. I don't know, I would say check your, the, I don't know, I would, it's an uh, unhealthy relationship. Well, about, and then, and then we have these, it's called that, because I'm starting, because I'm slowly, 12 French, and for my 12 friends, Rex, people keep, people, I don't know, I just heard people, so I'm only, so, I, so I'm only going to be able to read them. The series, but I, I don't know the name of the, the cover is real. 
I have to 